Hi, I'm Aya Tunde, and this is the Marcus Ward Show. <laughs> you know what would be fun? If we started off with just you, and then I came in as like the wife. Because it was originally just for you, right? Alright, let's get started. <laughs> let's get started. Okay, thanks. Let's get started. What is polyamory? Polyamory is an alternative lifestyle's belief that you can have more than one full-on committed relationship. Uh, not just physical, but spiritual and emotional as well. Mm -hmm. So it's an open relationship? Mm -hmm. Yes, and an open relationship is more just about being able to go out and see other people and hook up with other people. Mm -hmm. Sexual? Yeah, but polyamory is about finding an actual committed loving relationship. Mm -hmm. Like you would with a wife or your girlfriend, mm -hmm. you believe that you can have a full committed relationship mm -hmm. with one of them. So you two are legally married. Yes. Okay. And you are in a relationship with another female. Yes. Your girlfriend of uh, how, how long? Three months. Three months. And you have a boyfriend. Yeah. Three months as well. Three months as well. Yeah. Okay. I know I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I know the world is confused. Okay. So, you say that this is not an open relationship. No, no. It's more than that. It's more than that. Okay. So you're saying in order to have a, a, a relationship, it has to be emotional attachment. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we were monogamous for three years before we became poly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what made you decide to become? You always feel like you can't be fully who you are right. because you don't want to be the things that your partner doesn't like in your case because you're afraid that if you are those things, mm -hmm. even if they are part of you, they're going to leave you. And that's one big thing that we have to explain to people mm -hmm. when we, because we are in other relationships, they're like, oh, you're just cheating on your husband? No. We both uh, knew that uh, being monogamous wasn't helpful. And it wasn't happening. No, no, it wasn't happening at all. Because you always have these um, issues with jealousy. No matter how happy yeah. someone says they are, if your significant other goes and hangs out with an ex or anything like that, there's always going to be Was she jealous of you? <laughs> no, she rejected me three <laughs> times. So, but was she jealous when you two became... Yeah, because almost all of my female, almost all of my friends are female. Did you think that he would cheat on you? No. I knew he wouldn't, mm -hmm. but it was just an insecurity that I had because mm -hmm. I've had relationships in the past. Have you been cheated on? Yes. You have. Um, only one, which is a good thing. But mm -hmm. still, like, it's the affection that I had toward this guy, and he cheated on me. Like, it still kind of sucked. It mm -hmm. really hurt. Um, and I knew he was never going to cheat on me. Like, I trusted him. Mm -hmm. It was more that I didn't trust the other people. Mm -hmm. But looking at it now, I didn't trust myself so. enough to really let him be himself around other people. Have you cheated on her? I mean, that time. I've never cheated on that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in this. So has any temptations come about? Was there ever an opportunity where it presented itself that you can There are some of these, yeah, but I never took them. Mm -hmm. A lot of the monogam monogamous relationships around us were just completely falling apart. Like, mm -hmm. my parents were going through a rough patch. We had um, friends who had been married and they were now divorced. Yeah. All of our friends and family were monogamous were all breaking up, uh, losing their friendships and everything mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. And a lot of their issues sort of became present in our relationship. Mm -hmm. We just kind of, we used their relationships as a perspective to look mm -hmm. at our own relationship. So when did you decide, okay, I'm going to find out another partner? Was that at the same it time? It wasn't that, it was not a decision to find another partner. Mm -hmm. It was more that, again, we looked at those relationships and then we looked at my father who is poly as well. Mm -hmm. And we looked at the differences between the relationships and how they got So out. you grew up with no, us? I did not grow up there. My father was from recently at that time, Paul and everybody got to mm -hmm. see my father or anything like that, so it's mm -hmm. really recent years. But what about you? Did you grow mm -hmm. up? I, I lived in a very, compared to him, I lived in a very, very sheltered life. Compared okay. to him, he, we're complete opposite mm -hmm. <laughs> the mm -hmm. way we grew up. Mm -hmm. um, so. Even having that conversation with him was just like, I, I didn't, I knew it was, it was what I wanted, but mm -hmm. I didn't know if it was right. I had a lot of issues fighting myself, like, is this really what I want? Mm -hmm. Is it something that I can deal with emotionally? And mm -hmm. it was just, it was a, definitely a struggle. It was never 
like complete smooth sailing throughout the entire thing. It okay. definitely started. So who brought it up first? Did you? Did he? Uh, it was kind of like at the same time, to be honest. That's kind of how a lot of our conversations are. We mm -hmm. just sort of bring things up at the same time. Yeah. Is it difficult finding people who are open to this? Open to you two being married, but will, is it okay being just a girlfriend, just a boyfriend? Um, yes and no. It depends on where you look. Uh, we actually are, we're in a group of people that are open-minded like us, that are poly as well, or they are polycurious, or they're just open-minded people in general, they don't judge. Mm -hmm. So being around that is really, really nice, and it actually helps us. And we're glad so we're where do you find these people? Is it a group? Uh, uh, meet up. Yeah. Why do you think people won't agree? Because it's not the social norm. Society has mm -hmm. definitely taken its toll with everywhere, honestly. Like any any sort of relationship that's not the norm mm -hmm. is so frowned upon. Mm -hmm. Like being bisexual, being gay, mm -hmm. anything that's not a man and a wife, mm -hmm. just monogamous, mm -hmm. like married and having kids, that's that's okay. Anything else is Totally wrong. And I it's think slowly becoming okay, but yeah. then again, so let's let's, let's just like, go there. Let's just go there. Are you? Can you honestly say that I am comfortable with my husband being with another woman? Yes, I can. You are. Yeah, perfectly okay. I used to be when we first started. So I there was never any jealousy. Oh, there was when we first started, just because, like I said, I mean, so I was affected by society in general. Yeah. Um, so I was definitely jealous at first, but then it's, it's not that you get used to it because mm -hmm. you, you don't really get used to being jealous. It's just something mm -hmm. that you overcome personally. Mm -hmm. It fades away. Yeah, it fades away. I, I don't have an issue for it anymore. Like, mm -hmm. he can be with his girlfriend. He can be, ha like, he can show affection to his girlfriend right in front of me and it does not bother me whatsoever. It doesn't bother me. Same thing with that, her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. What is you all's commitment? to one another, as husband and wife, if you two, if you, <laughs> you know, this is, this is, if you two are okay with you being with another female, your girlfriend, you being with your boyfriend, what is the commitment between you two? We're together for life. It's the same <laughs> as, 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 as any other marriage or relationship. Do you love your wife more than your girlfriend? I love them the same. It's just a different. Way. So why do you think you married her and not your girlfriend? I know I married her before I even met my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And it, if it were possible and allowed, I'd want to be able to be married to both of them. So you are willing to get married to your girlfriend? Yeah. If it were legal. If it was legal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, let me, yeah, yeah, let's thank you for that. I don't want people calling the house or so okay. Just like, if it was legal. legal. Okay. Just like if it were legal or not, she would want to marry her boyfriend. But suppose if your wife say, I want to be married. Would you, to be married. would you divorce your wife for her, to marry her? No. No. There's no need for that. There's uh, never any need for that. Because, I mean, you have people who have just as John and Felicia was married couple who have never been married before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marriage, what it used to stand for was just a symbolism of the strength of commitment mm -hmm. to between people. Mm -hmm. And then it became political and then it became economical and everything else. Mm -hmm. So how did you explain to your girlfriend that you had a wife? How did you explain I just told her I'm married. Yeah, <laughs> it was you pretty simple. And was she okay with that? Yeah. That's the thing about uh, being poly, it's, you can go into it looking for so many different things. I mean, we never expected to really find anyone else. It was just mm -hmm. a lifestyle for us assume, to go yeah. into, mm -hmm. to be able to try and see where it goes. So what about the critics who argue that this is just an excuse? An excuse for what? Just to have sex with someone else. If that was the case, I could just cheat on her. Right. Just like people do all the time, but it's not an excuse mm -hmm. at all. And it's, so why do you think why do you think people cheat versus do what you're doing? Because Which is being openly honest about it. Because it's not accepted by society. A lot of people, people do things behind other people's back and whatnot because they feel like they have to fit the social norm. Yeah. People don't like to be outcast. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people really are attracted to sort of the 
the bad in cheating. Like they think it's kind of like a turn on. To, to get people. away with something. So not I think I mean I think there's a lot of people, a lot of reasons why people cheat, and I mm -hmm. think. Honestly, I think those are more excuses. Mm -hmm. When people say polyamory or poly being polyamorous is an excuse, I kind of laugh because it's they don't understand what it means to be polyamorous. The four of us have hung out together and gone on double dates. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very I open mean, how I fail to see how that can be in any way an wrong. excuse. Mm -hmm. I'm showing the same commitment to both of these people. Mm -hmm. I talk about each other too. No, what about your boyfriend? With, with, how does he feel about you being a married woman? He's the same, but he's also married as well. So, <laughs> yeah, my boyfriend is married. Um, he's married. Yep. You're married. Yep. Everyone that we're, everyone involved in so the you, circle you all, is So we've met all yep. of them. We've even met his wife's two boyfriends. Yeah, so like, like his wife has two other boyfriends. Yeah, so there's, it, it, it sounds confusing, but it's, mm -hmm. it's really not. That's so just suppose not. if he had sex with someone else and didn't tell you, would you consider that cheating? Not necessarily. Um, I actually, I kind of view cheating differently than most people um, because being poly, being in an open mind frame, I kind of, it's not that I let things slide, I just, I don't really view things the same as other people. Mm -hmm. So I think that um, he can, he has the freedom to do whatever he wants. Is he allowed to have more than one girlfriend? If he wants to, yeah. Is she allowed to have more than one boyfriend? That's what she wants, yeah. They so is she it. allowed to have sex? Yeah. Or is it? does it have to be emotional? She's allowed to have whatever she wants. Uh, I mean, I personally don't believe that physicality has to, anything to actually do with a relationship. I have friends who have been with their partners for years and they have no sexual attraction to each other, but they love each other and they stay together because of that. So I would never put sexuality into a requirement. Are you sexually attracted to her? Of course. <laughs> Are you sexually attracted to her? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next question. Okay. Um, what about those who say that this is how STDs spread? <laughs> is he allowed to be with another man? You've been, you've been with women. I'm you're bisexual. Are you bisexual as well? Do you two have other sex with each other? Would you recommend people getting into this lifestyle?